Hello everyone. Hello, hello again. This is Miss Coco Bowden of Kiva Advancement Conference Call Class Podcast. And I'm just coming through tonight to give y'all a little bit of word. Um, It's not much, but I feel like I should just say a little something pertaining to how I almost lost it earlier today and I had to come back to a real realization that, you know, my understanding may not be God's understanding. So these are some words of encouragement for those of you who may be feeling broken on tonight, um, this morning, 226 in the morning. Um, you know, situations do come up and things do happen. We lose so many people in our, in our lives. And at the same time, we have so many new people coming in our lives that it seems like it's a quick roller coaster. One minute we're up, the next minute we're down. And I realized today that I had got upset because of something that I saw. And, you know, Sometimes us women, we do get a little upset, but it's okay now because I had to go back and pray and say to myself, broken but God. You know, everybody has a broken but God moment. And just because you're broken, that doesn't mean that you cannot operate. It just means that some parts of you are hurt a little bit more than other parts. And we are never so broken that God cannot come back in our lives and turn that thing around and mend us. And we can still wear our crown straight and we can still give God the glory. And he still gets it all from us. Um. I know that we have a lot of hate in this world, and I'm not one to want to spread hate. I used to spread hate. Don't get me wrong. I used to spread hate. I'm not perfect. I used to spread spread it everywhere I went a lot of times, and, you know, I can't change that. All, all I can do is ask for forgiveness and go forth on that, but I will say that no matter where you're at in life, We're going to have some ups and downs. We're going to have some people, even the strongest people are the most vulnerable people. Those are the people who often get hurt and have to suck it up. We have to suck it up because we are, we have great influences on other people. And so if we get hurt and we go down and we know that other people are watching us go down, then you know, that's a possibility that they could go down too, that other people could follow our footsteps. So I want to tell somebody out there, yes, I may be hurt. Yes, I may be broken. But at the same time, I'm not beyond repair. And and I'm saying that in the sense of everybody, you know, there's just some people out there who just need to be healed and delivered and set free from a broken heart. And what does the Bible say about that? Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. I love Proverbs because it tells us so much about life, you know, life itself. And this is what the Bible says. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. He will make your path straight. So sometimes what we're mad about, what we're getting upset about, really ain't nothing. You know, we just lean into our understanding, looking at it from a flesh point of view. We want to get upset. We want to get upset, raise all kind of cane, and make trouble and stir up trouble for everybody else. But sometimes you just need to sit there and ask God, what is it about this situation that you want me to understand? What is it, God? Send your Holy Spirit to give me, give it to me in your version, not my version, because I fall short daily. So what is it that you want me to do, Lord? And the Lord will come in and he will teach you. The Holy Spirit will teach you how to sit there and wait for that understanding to come upon you. And that's what I had to do today. I had to wait for the understanding to come upon me before I said anything else.
you know, about the situation. And I want to encourage those of you out there that if you are going through any type of situations, that you wait for the understanding of God. It is totally different from our understanding. And not only that you wait for the understanding of God, but wait for the peace of God, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. You know what I'm saying? There is a peace of God that you can get yourself. The peace that we have is totally different from the peace that God can give you. I remember when I lost my daddy and I cried and I cried and I cried and I cried so much till I got sick. I lost my appetite. I couldn't eat for months. I mean, here I was torturing my own body when my father was absent from here, but he was present with the Lord. I was torturing myself because of my losses. And I was looking at it from my point of view. My point of view was, I done lost my daddy. I ain't got him with me no more. And heaven's point of view, God's point of view and understanding was, here is a man who has been struggling and fighting over 40 years with heart disease and diabetes, going through strokes and and at that time having many strokes back to back. One day he had 15 strokes 15 mini strokes. Was I being selfish? Yes. I was being selfish to want to ask God to keep him here in that type of pain. But because I was in my understanding, I didn't understand that until I prayed and God showed me his version of how I should understand. And when I started to understand God's way, I said, you know what? I don't want my daddy to suffer. I don't want my daddy in pain. Lord, whatever's in your will, just go ahead and do it. And that's how I had to look at my situation earlier. I said, you know what? I don't want to see people in pain. I don't want to see people hurting. So, Lord, whatever it is you're doing in this situation, you know, just give me a little understanding to it so that I may have your peace and not my peace so that I can go forth on with my life. And he did. And I tell you, I feel so much better. So your Kiva encouragement is do not lean to your own understanding. Because y'all, y'all know how our minds are. We have some foolish minds at times. At times, somebody can just look at us wrong and our mind want to pop off. Why they looking at me? And, you know, jealousy, deceit, envy, all that stuff. That's nothing more than the trick of the enemy to distract you from the real understanding, which is I got to take you through this process right here so that I can mature you in the spirit for the area that you're going to next. You know, this situation is for the next. Glory to God. I want to get to my next. If this is how I'm supposed to grow, I want to grow in the spirit and make it to my next. So don't become distracted just because problems come up out of nowhere. Circumstances hit out of nowhere and situations just keep coming back. Even if it's the same situation over and over. As long as you feed it, that's what you will achieve. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, if you feed it, that's what you will have. You will have more problems. I choose not to feed into negativity. I choose not to feed into anything that won't allow me to love people like I love myself. And I love myself, y'all. I love myself, but I'm very humbled. And therefore, I can love others. I can love others, even my enemies. You got to humble down, folks. I'm telling you. So tonight, God is working on me in that area. And I know um, if y'all uh, come back on Wednesday, Wednesday night at 9 p.m., we're going to have another great class, y'all. We like nine months strong, nine months strong. And I'm telling you, God is just, it's just amazing how God is using this platform to touch others' lives. And I know that whatever you're going through on tonight, that God is going to take care of you. He is going to take care of your wearied mind and your heart. He is going to lift the burdens up off in your heart. He's going to give you peace. But are you open to peace? Are you open to that change? Are you willing to go to the next? The next. We don't know what the next is. 
But as long as God is directing our paths, he said he will make it straight for us. So I trust God. I trust God to make my path straight. I trust God to make your path straight and to heal every broken area in your life, even down to your finances, your relationship with your children, your relationship with your mother or father. Maybe it's a distant sibling. I I, I, I trust God. That these things will come to pass. That the healing will come to pass. And that there will be no more lack as well. You won't be lacking in that area of knowledge. And look, when God does it for you, when he does it for you, go on and give him the praise. Acknowledge him in all your ways. Let folks know that it won't me. It wasn't me that did it. It was God. God did it. If God had not stepped in, if it had not been for God to step in in the nick of time, I could have been in destruction. I could have been in the path of destruction. I could have been broken to the point that I couldn't even love myself. And there are people out here who don't even love themselves because they don't fully trust in the Lord with all their heart. It says with all your heart, trust in the Lord with all your heart. That includes even the stinking side of your heart, the part of your heart that's bad about gossiping and stuff. Yeah, it it, it includes that part, too. So don't think that whenever the Bible says trust in the Lord with all your heart, it's just Including the good parts. But no, God wants you to trust your bad parts with him too. Because he said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will make your straight, make straight, straight your paths. I'm used to saying crooked. I'm reading out of the <laughs> ESV version. I'm used to the King James version. But y'all. Trust. God is able. God is on the case tonight. God is delivering in the midnight hour. God can deliver it any time of day or night. If you are feeling like you are lost and broken and you are stuck, just give it all to God. Stop trying to make sense of it. Try, stop trying to fix it all by yourself. And just say, Lord, I don't understand. So you got to help me, God. Give me your understanding. Download your understanding in my mind. So that I know what to do. So that I know which ways to go. Y'all know the path of righteousness is the right way to go. It's the right way. Have your faith in God. Have faith in God. That little bit of mustard seed can go a long way. And I'm just so thankful tonight that I can truly say broken but God. Am I broken tonight? No, I'm not broken tonight. I'm, I'm feeling good tonight. I'm, I'm actually feeling good and I feel the spirit all, all around me. The Holy Spirit all around me. No, I'm not broken tonight, but there was once upon a time when I was broken. When I was broken and didn't know God and didn't know that God could deliver me up out of so many things. You know, I was holding on to so much. And that's what we do. We we think we have to hold on to every little thing that goes on in our life. No, you don't. You don't have to hold on to it and you don't got to be passive about it either. You don't got to act like it don't exist. It does exist, but that's why you give it to God so that you can go forth. And in other words, God is fixing your problem. The Lord is on your side this morning. He's on your side and my side too. So whatever it is, let go and let God have his way. And um, I'll read you this scripture too. Psalms 34 and 18 says, The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. There are a lot of people crushed in the spirit. A lot of people just sit around doing the same thing over and over. <coughs> Excuse me. At nighttime, some of them sit up and cry themselves to sleep. Crushed in the spirit. Lost. Don't know which direction to turn. Well, listen. If you don't know which way to go, begin to pray. And then open up your Bible. Or begin to worship. 
whichever communication you can get to get to God. Press your way through. Press your way through just like the woman with the issue of blood. She pressed her way through the crowd. She didn't know if she was going to make it or not. She had been through all this bleeding and sickness day in and day day out. And so she pressed her way through it. She still felt everything that was going on, but she pressed away and finally got to the hem of that garment. Tonight, I want y'all to pray.